Aha! Are women more emotional than men? Are women, yeah, more explosive? Do they have a diversity of emotions which are, uh, which is different than men? Uh, I must say that on this topic, I don't have it completely figured out. So it's a little bit of an exploration. The reason why I don't have it figured out is because my model of male-female dynamics is still evolving and deep inside there is something that I don't like doing. It is called gender discrimination or gender separation, saying that women somehow are like that, feminine energy is like that, and men are different. So, but let's try to explore. So my answer to that is absolutely women are so much more emotional than guys. You know, when guys meet, what happens is that we are having a flatlining conversation with maybe one peak emotion with a little bit of trigger and then a little bit of vulnerability and all that is going within something that stays within a relatively flat line. A woman comes into the picture and it's going to be tears and laughter and joy and blah, 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 you know, explosions of, of energy. So. I mean, uh, my answer is yes, that's what I believe. Even though a part of myself, my rational thinking, doesn't want to believe this. I don't know why. But, uh, you know, for instance, uh, this morning here, my lover shows up in the space. It's not even 12, it's not even noon, and we already went through, like, a massive amount of emotions. I don't know if we would count them. There would be, like, 255 cycles of emotional blasts and jumps and ins and outs and triggered fights and then love making and then we enter into this deep bonding experience of smile and vulnerability and tears and apologies and then it's like my god in just like four hours together we jump up and down we go right and left explosive and uh, if i was by myself at my temple guess what would happen i would be happy a little bit excited flowing and so maybe the interactions between two human beings is what creates that but i'm relating to a man you know a guy comes into this space even a very good friend will have like you know two or three emotions playing and more or less flatlining within the same same range so with women what tends to happen in my experience is that there's first the range of emotions the speed at which we are shifting from one state to the next you know it can be tears going to laughter within a minute and without apparent external reason you know it's just i don't know what it is it's hormones kicking in uh flows of energy and guess what it's exciting like i find it's especially exciting to be around women precisely because because of that because it's exciting it's fun it's uh, there's lots of diversity there and um, I want to ask you the question what's your experience are women more emotional than men do women have more emotions more range of emotions um, are the shifts between emotional states way faster in women than in men you know explosions joy blah, blah, you know like shifting really fast or um, is this more something permanent and continuous for both genders? So, you know, if we try to explain why there would be a difference, maybe it's just in the genes. Maybe it's the way we have been designed as human beings and uh, women are just designed in a different way than guys. The emotional body is just vaster for women. The emotional ability or emotional capacity, the, the diversity of of pathways in those emotions are, is vaster and uh, men are a little bit more focused on the mental body. So you have the emotional body and then you have the mental body and guys are a little bit stronger in the mental body and women are a bit stronger in the emotional body. It's not black and white, okay? Some women are going to be really strong with their mental uh, body as well, but you know, it's more or less like a gender kind of difference that might be playing a role in the way we relate to each other. So, yeah, that's my experience. It's a big yes to that one. Even though I don't know why I'm resisting thinking like that. Um, yeah, what's your experience? What do you think uh, with the, the, the women or the men in your life? What do you experience? If you are a woman, is the man, the, your, your lover, primary partner, boyfriend or husband, just flight lining in a continuous state? Or he might have like two or three main emotions that he's... Uh, constantly coming back to. It might be a state of vulnerability or victimization, or it might be a state of uh, of uh, anger or frustration, or it might be a state of joy, of pleasure. You know, what are those core emotions that the men in your life are expressing? And if you are a man, check into, into the women that are in your life. You know, how do they relate? How do they expand? And uh, yeah, what's what's going on there? It's funny, we're talking about emotions in the sky. It's getting 
so so dark it's just so beautiful let me see if i can show you this my god wow can you see this this is so magnificent okay now i'm older but my god we're talking about emotions and guess what nature is giving me a hint it's going like yeah baby i'm gonna explode soon so this is the way it works anyway um you know one of the things to learn as um, as a man for myself it is to be able to navigate the different uh, flows of possible emotions have lots of flexibility around um, emotions that are happening around me in my life especially when it comes to romantic relationships connections lover um, you know being able to, to play with those different emotions for instance as a man if you are in the presence of a woman who gets really vulnerable how do you respond to that what do you do with it so and the same the other way around you know I had recently uh, a woman tell me you think too much it's like, what do you mean? Thinking is fun. It's like, I love thinking. I love having rational thoughts. I love being in logical streams of, of reflection. And uh, But then what she, what she meant by that is that I want to play. I want to have more emotions. I want to be more in the emotional body. And so it's good to keep that in mind when we are relating to each other. Yeah, what do you think? I want to know what you think about this topic. It's really a, yeah, it's really a cool one. Are we designed really differently? Like two genders separate from each other and um, yeah that is uh, that is um, yeah different then what you can check with the the emotions when we say are women more emotional than men you can check um, intensity you know how intense can we go into peak expressions of emotional states uh, you can change check the speed at which we are shifting from one emotion to the next you know how predictable are these emotions and uh, another thing that you can check, check is how many emotions can you access? You know, what is the range of emotional potential that you have in your system? Like, do you play with like three or four major emotions or do you have like a vast range of, of moves and, and playfulness inside of you that make you uh, a master at uh, emotional play? You know, these are good questions to ask yourself. Anyway, man, this storm is coming so, so impressive right now the sky is about to freaking explode Woohoo! my god so impressive i love how nature syncs with what we're doing or we sync with nature i love you i'll see you soon